is there anyone left who hasn't by now heard of the virtues of castor oil? If social media is to be believed, it's the answer to almost every skincare problem and more. And while it certainly has benefits as an ingredient in beauty products, I think one of the main reasons its popularity has soared is that people are increasingly looking for more natural, gentle solutions and I'm one of them. And over the years so far, there have been a few products that I've tried that are more environmentally conscious and have a natural ethos behind them that have really impressed me. And today, I'm gonna to share them with you. So I'm gonna start with a brand that is growing fast and for good reason, and that's Manicurist, the French nail care business that has set out to provide a greener and more gentle alternative to gel nails, traditional polishes, and nail polish removers. And from my experience, they've succeeded. So to put it in context, I had long given up on having shellac or gel nail treatments done because they just absolutely butchered my nails. And whether I got the gel removed professionally or I tried to remove it myself at home, my nails were left really weak and flaky afterwards. I'm also one of those incredibly clumsy people who can chip a regular nail manicure before I've even left the salon. It meant I just didn't really paint my nails or get them done at all. And so when I first noticed Manicurist on social media, I was drawn to the whole concept of a gentler solution for nails. And their hero product is their gel nail kit or their gel nail kit alternative. And you can buy what they call their green flash starter kit. And each one comes with an LED lamp, polish remover clips, base coat, top coat, and an acetone-free polish remover. And then you can decide how many colors you wanna add as part of your kit. So a basic kit, which comes with everything I just listed, plus one color, is priced around 100 pounds or 100 US dollars. And they often run uh, discounts on the site. I also have a 15% discount code that I will include in the description. So to my mind, it's a pretty fair price point for what you get in that set. I absolutely love their range of colors. There are just so many to choose from. And you can choose either the range designed to be used with the UV lamp, or they have other re just regular polishes and fast dry polishes which don't need a lamp. And in general, I have found all of their ranges so much gentler on my nails. They also have an all-in-one range of nail polishes that are blended with nail care ingredients to kind of coat your nails and make them shine while treating them. And they are really good. The Active Bright is my favorite from that range because it makes your nails look really shiny and healthy, but it also immediately strengthens them. And that's just with one coat. But if you're choosing the gel kit, then to use it, you just start with the base coat, put each hand under the lamp for 60 seconds at a time. You add two rounds of color and then a top coat. So all in all, I think it took me about 25 minutes to complete it. Now being clumsy and also being an avid cleaner, I only got about four or five days out of the gel polish before a couple of my nails started chipping. But that was still a win for me, believe it or not, because it meant I could polish my nails at home before a weekend, and not chip them horribly within 24 hours, which is what would usually happen. So I got a run out of my own home manicure, which is very rare. Other people who paint them more carefully and aren't crashing around with cleaning products and constantly washing pots and pans could get longer out of the gel nails, I'm sure. But it was removing the gel that was the revelation because you just cut up some flat cotton pads apply some remover to each of them, press them down on your nails and secure them with the little clips. Leave that on just for a minute or so and the gel just peels off. And the best bit is my nails were fine afterwards. They were maybe a little bit drier, but nothing close to the kind of damage that I would get with the traditional gel nail polish. Now I know there are concerns about use of UV lamps frequently over the long term because dermatologists have warned that potentially repeated exposure over years could lead to skin cancer on the nail, around the nail bed and fingers. So as with all things, I think that's just something to keep in mind. And I tend to just use the gel nail manicure set for special occasions or over a weekend where I might be going out a couple of times and I wanna get a longer stretch out of the polish. And then otherwise, I just use the regular polishes. And this is a brand that has got me back into painting my nails again without causing the same kind of damage. The downsides, are I didn't feel, like I said, that the gel nails were as long lasting as some of the traditional options out there 
but that is the price of the gentler ingredients. Otherwise, I think Manicurist is a great choice and I'm gonna give it a solid eight out of 10 rating. Next, I wanna share a few castor oil based products that I've been using lately. Now, like a lot of folks, I've started experimenting with castor oil in my routine. Initially, using just a simple organic cold pressed oil in my nighttime routine around my eyes in place of Vaseline to kind of lock in the moisture. And with castor oil getting the seal of approval from skin microbiome specialist, Dr. Thomas Hitchcock on this channel, who said it allows your skin to breathe and behaves like your skin's own natural oils. I was even more keen to try it out. So I distilled some oil into a little spray tube to make it easier to use. And I found it great on its own, but the only thing that put me off was the smell. So I basically went to bed smelling like cooking oil every night and it was kind of getting to me. So more recently, I switched to a castor oil based balm from Dermalect. They call it a repair balm and it's around 30 pounds or $40 for a tube, but you only need a tiny amount. So I do expect this to last me a long time. And incidentally, I will link to everything in the description that I'm talking about today so you can look over the details. But the primary ingredient with this Dermalec Balm is the castor oil. And they've also added in a few other oils like Abyssinian oil, which is high in fatty acids, as is evening primrose oil, which is also included. And it's a real multitasker. Just like raw castor oil, you can use it anywhere. This one is fragrance free. I find it completely non-irritating. Primarily, I'm using it around my lips and my eyes and on my nails too. I think it's really good stuff if, like me, you want to enjoy the benefits of castor oil without the smell. So I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 because I love everything about the product, but it's obviously considerably more expensive than just using plain old castor oil. Next, you might have seen on social media ads for these Kit solid shampoo bars. And the idea is you save on plastic bottles when you go for a solid shampoo. And these ones are free from things that some consumers might look to avoid, like parabens, silicone, sulfates, and artificial fragrance. So I was quite taken with the idea of a solid shampoo bar. I was intrigued to buy one. So I bought the castor oil shampoo bar and the shea butter conditioning bar, which smells lovely incidentally, but they do also have a castor oil based conditioner too. And the idea is you put them in little mesh bags to keep them in shape and you can just hang them up in your shower. And when you're using them, you rub some between your hands and then wash or condition as usual. And to keep it brief, I would say that for one to two consecutive washes, they work really well on my hair. They're nourishing and hydrating without being heavy and my hair dries light and bouncy. But if I tried using it three times in a row, I notice a bit of a buildup my hair starts to look a bit greasy. Now that won't be the same for everyone, but that's how it was for me. So I break it up by rotating with some other hair products. I'd also say the shampoo bar stays more solid and is longer lasting than the conditioner, which tended to go a bit squelchy. That means at 15 pounds or $14 for a bar, it's the shampoo that's offering the better value. The other thing I noticed with them is because you have to rub them for a period of time to get enough lather or conditioner to use on your hair, I ended up taking longer in the shower when I use the bars than I do when I use regular shampoo or conditioning wash. So that has to be weighed up against the packaging saving when you're thinking about the environmental costs too. But all in all, I like the idea and it's definitely worth giving this a try if you're interested in trying a solid shampoo or conditioner. So I would give the shampoo bar on its own eight out of 10, but the conditioner more like a seven out of 10 because it goes mushy in the bag. But I do like what it does for my hair. And I've talked before about how I love conditioning wash or co-wash products because they cleanse your hair without stripping it of moisture. So I've used as I am co-wash for a few years now, and I'll link to a video that I did about that below. And the other conditioning wash I like, and I take to the gym with me for convenience, is called One Hit Wonder Co-wash, and it's from Naughty. And again, it's sulfate, silicone, and paraben free, and naturally scented. And it contains castor oil, which you can smell a little, along with shea butter again, almond, and coconut oil. It's around nine pounds in the UK and $11.50 in the US. And I'm gonna give that one a nine out of 10 for performance, convenience, and its gentle ingredients. 
a little like the soap bars, I get a buildup if I use it over and over without alternating with another product, but otherwise, that one's a winner. The next product is a mascara from beauty startup brand called Queen Musia, based in California. They only have a couple of products in their range, but I was keen to try their mascara because it includes a lash growth extract made from plankton. So the ingredients are said to be 95% natural. And I guess when we talk about natural products, it's important to remember that not all chemicals are harmful and we certainly need a level of uh, chemicals and preservatives to keep things safe and working well. And that's where regulatory bodies at the end of the day come into play to decide on safety for us. But I think we all do like the thought of using more natural ingredients where possible. And I think that they've put together a really nourishing mascara here that still performs well. It doesn't lift and lengthen lashes like some of the top tier traditional mascaras, but I'm sticking with it because I do think it has helped slightly thicken my lashes. I feel there's a little bit more body in there and they're not separating so much, especially when I apply the mascara. And the clever little brush is made using a castor oil derived material. And so it's just another one that I like the ethos behind it and what they're trying to do. And we know that prostaglandin used in traditional eyelash growth serums can cause negative and longer term side effects for some users. So this is a gentler alternative and the bonus is it doesn't cause unwanted hair growth around my eyes, which actually happened when I used a traditional growth serum before. It's priced at $36, but shipping costs can be high outside of the US. So it would be good to see this being made more widely available before too long. All in all, I'm going to give another solid eight out of 10 rating for this product. This is the year I've got really into using natural oil-based cleansing balms instead of face wash or traditional cleansers. And there are a few lovely ones that do a great job of cleansing your skin of makeup without stripping it or leaving it greasy. So I'm gonna link to my favorites in the description too, because doing this has really helped my underlying skin hydration. And you know, when you're in your 50s, that's really important. Now I'm gonna end with a little splash of luxury. Who doesn't love a splash of luxury? Because I'm really quite taken with this bathing set from an entrepreneur who wanted to introduce the hammam style of bathing she grew up with in Tunisia to a larger audience. And the result is this lovely set from her brand Nera, made in France and based around natural origin ingredients. The range consists of an oil-based foam that I particularly like, and you start off with that to prep the skin. There's a gentle exfoliating glove, which is enough to remove the dead dry skin without being aggressive to your skin. There's a body wash and then the most heavenly scented, lighter than air oil. It's called a dry body oil because it's so light and non-greasy and that's what you use to finish. And it would make a dream gift. And actually the foam or oil in isolation are fantastic products in their own right. The foam was out of stock at the time of filming, which doesn't surprise me because it's brilliant. It costs around £21 or $26 and it's made largely from olive oil and coconut oil. So it's hydrating while priming your skin for light microbiome friendly exfoliation once a week. And the wash is more expensive at £29 or $36, but it's a nice treat. It lathers well. The jasmine wood version that I have smells great and it uses pink clay for cleansing, but it's designed to hydrate with squalene, hyaluronic acid, collagen and algae. And I had a friend stay a while back and I'd left the Nera products in the shower just to show off really. But he used the body wash and then took a note of the name before he left because he just loved how soft it left his skin. And I often just use the foam and exfoliating glove once a week on their own. And then I use the body wash separately and I spray the oil on slightly damp skin when I get out of the shower. So it kind of spreads more easily, goes a bit further, lasts a bit longer. And it's amazing for being able to hydrate without being greasy. So as a treat, I might even give this range a 10 out of 10, particularly the foam and the oil, because I really love the products. The body oil is 57 pounds or $72, so it's a bit more pricey. But as I say, great gift. Um, I think the combined set is 115 pounds or around $145. So it's a 
good price for the quality of the full range. And that brings me to the end of my list of more natural goodies that I've been enjoying. Do share some of your favorites in the comments with us too. And consider subscribing if you haven't already because I'd love to have you on board. And if you hit the notification bell, you won't miss future videos from me. You'll find me posting on Instagram too. And if you enjoy the interviews I share on this channel with experts in the fields of medicine, skincare, science, nutrition, and more, then you can also listen on the go with the Honest Channel podcast on YouTube Music, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. I also share more advice and information around how to age well, look and feel good for longer on my website, honest.scott. So be sure to check it out and you can sign up for my monthly newsletter at the bottom of any page. But for today, thank you so much for being here and I hope to catch you again soon.